Hi ladies, how are you guys doing? This is your girl Sharon and I'm coming back with a quick video about my hair journey. This is my hair. This is how my hair looks right now. I can tell you this, eight months ago it didn't even look like this. My hair was severely damaged. It was damaged by using perms and glue and so with that being said my hair was completely breaking um but i decided to go on my hair journey eight months ago and have that be the last text lack that i got because i actually did a text lack trying to see what that was like and that looked nice <laughs> but with that being said um i started looking at ladies on youtube and getting lots of pointers and stuff i think i really mainly stuck to sugar shelly Shelly Bean, I think 817, I'm not sure. I think it was Sexy Sugar Shelly, and then she changed hers to Shelly Bean 718, I think. But I really just looked towards her, and she was like a mentor for me to get my hair to back to its fullness, because it wasn't even like this. It was thin, you guys, like brittle and thin and broken. So I started doing pre-poos and wash days and um, deep conditioning and all that stuff and I um, kind of took a step back because I was noticing I was doing too much with my hair like that was the whole point of me um, getting into my hair journey was to one stop touching it a lot and two get it to being healthy because the first thing you need to do is get your health your hair healthy before it starts growing so if you guys are getting into this and thinking I'm gonna have long luscious hair that's not going to happen for a while. You need to get it back to the healthy state it needs to be before it can start growing. So that should be the first goal is getting it to the thickness and getting it back to um, being soft and luscious and looking good as hell and shiny as hell and just healthy. So that should be the main focus. And once you get to that focus, then your hair will start growing. And then you can worry about length and all that stuff. I really but, am going through a transition phase where I'm going to have two different textures um, in my hair. The perm and then my normal natural growth. So, I clip my ends 8 to 10 weeks. Just a little bit. It's really, really tiny. Um, I actually want to get the split end finder. I thought that would be cool because... You know, sometimes you just want to do get those ends and you want to get every single little ends. But if your hair is already um, uneven, it's very hard to get them and get all of them. So I thought that would be a cool little treat to get. So the products that I use, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you this straight up. The second biggest mistake that I've done was buy all kinds of products. And that's because I was just buying products that was working for their hair and not buying products that was working for my hair. So if you're new to this, please do not take an account of what I have and use it to you. You need to go buy why is your hair damaged and products that can fix those damaged problems. So if your hair has dry, itchy scalp, you need to find a shampoo, conditioner for dry, itchy scalp. If your hair is completely just dry, it doesn't have no kind of moisture in there, it feels limp, um, it has split ends, it has dead ends like crazy. You need to find products that is meant for moisturizing your hair. So like I said, find things that you need that will help the problem with your hair. If your hair is dull, it's not looking, it's limp, it's not, it's lifeless, you need to find stuff that's going to put the shine back into your hair and that oomph. So you need to find shampoos for that. This one is Motions Lavish Conditioning Shampoo and this has silk and keratin protein for medium to coarse hair. The other thing that I use that is also my favorite shampoo and I, I actually rotate these every two weeks. So if you're asking how many times I wash my hair, I wash my hair every two weeks. <laughs> Okay, just because of the products that I use, I don't use them like that, so my hair is not dirty. <laughs> okay, so the other shampoo that I have is Suave Professional Almond Shea Butter. I love, 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 love the shampoo. I love the way it makes my hair feel. My hair is shinier. It just feels so good. The other thing that I use that is for motions is um, their CPR Triple Action Leave-In Conditioner. 
I use this. Even when I use the swab, I still put this in after I am done. The other thing I'm using now and I have recently got is um, Tresemme's Professional Anti-Frizz um, Secret. Yeah, it's like a smoothing cream. This is really good to use, uh, especially if you press your hair, flat iron your hair, or hot roller, which I use hot roller set. The other thing that I use by Tresemme is their Thermal Creation Heat um, Tamer Spray. What I do is, I, I know they say you supposed to have it at a distance and spray, but I actually spray it into my hand a lot and then work it in my hand and then just go over my hair and then make sure I get my ends really well because they are the oldest part of your hair. A suave product that I love to use is the Extreme Hold Suave Hair Spray. I love this. And it is for hard to hold styles. I really like this. This is really good. I mean, I haven't had issues with this like other people have. It is the um, Garnier um, Frizz Sleek and Shine, sorry. And then the Herbal Essence Long Term Relationship. I do two pumps of this. And then on top of that, two pump of that, and then I rub them together, and then I just go over my ends like this, and work it all the way around, and get to like right here, because you know you have short pieces. Okay, so the other item that I am loving is their, it's called Soft and Free Grow Healthy Milk and Protein Olive Oil Packs. I do this once a month. Um, I do it in the middle of the week. And I really like it because once I do it, when I do my, when I wash my hair, then um, two weeks later, then I go into normally washing my hair. But I love those freaking things. It makes my hair feel good. And I love it because it has olive oil, omega-3, and milk protein in it. That's what you need, people. <laughs> they have other ones, too, that you can use. I got that one from Walmart. It's 97 cents, and I really love that. The other thing you can do for your hair, which I have been doing, is I got a silk pillow. This is just now at Walmart. It's $7 now. Comes in all colors. I really like this because when I do a wrap and I try to put on a silk wrap, I cannot keep that wrap on. I have to, it comes off. So I had to get a pillow that was silk to protect my hair in case that happens. So I wrap my hair and I have my silk pillow to protect my hair. Um... What's the other thing that I do? Hmm. Oh, um, this is actually a long, I mean, this, I have not worn my hair out like this. This is, it's nice that I actually get to wear my hair out because you guys, I don't, I wear wigs all the time, like every single day, every time I go out, I never wear my hair out. And so to see my hair out and looking really nice, I really like it. It's really nice and it's soft and I love it. So, yeah, this is what I did with my hot rollers. So I was really happy to get this nice look for myself and for you guys. Hello. I wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like and <clears throat> let me check. My hair was cut here eight months ago when I started. And then if I flip it back. That's where my hair is now. I'm going to stand straight so I won't cheat. <laughs> so this is where my hair is now. Eight months ago. Now eight months later. So, yeah. I like it. It's really nice, you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I wanted to do it for you guys. So I'll see you next time on my next video. Bye now.